be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as give me a thumbs up. Basically helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's jump into today's content. Today, we're going to do another subscriber slash viewer topic. And I'm going to be sharing um, or answering a question by Mike G Music. He said, thanks for this video bro or thanks for this bro do you typically affect drum bus with smack attack or each channel separately so basically what this video is going to be you know mainly about is how to use smack attack on your drums so um i have a beat here i'm looking at the channel here i actually didn't even really use um the smack attack too much at all on my beat but we're going to we're going to I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this in this beat so that, you know, just make things pop out more in the mix and et cetera, et cetera. All right. So let's jump into it, man. First of all, if you're new to Smack Attack or new to what it can do, um, basically, it's a plug in by Waves. OK, you can get it from a company called Waves. Um, I believe it's, it's, it's fairly reasonably priced. Um, but this is what it, it is. OK, it's basically a plug in that helps. Um, it's, it, they say it's a transient shaper. I'll just say that it basically is going to take your beats and make them smack harder. Now, I think that's why they call it smack attack. You know what I'm saying? So like say if you have a, a, a snare or a kick or, or, or you know, hi hats or whatever that's that you're using and it's not hitting hard, it, it's going to add that pop to it that you need or that smack that you need so how i would do this is the question is asked is hey do you put this on like the different like a bus channel and, and a bus channel is like this where you go into mixing and you say all right i'm gonna group all these tracks together like my kick snare hats and this tink sound they're all drum sounds and what you could do is in a mixing process a more advanced mixing process you could go over here and bust this or take these chat these channels and send them to an auxiliary track, right? And this is what we call a bus. And say so we'll just say drums. Some people, what they'll do is they'll add a compressor on this track and or this auxiliary channel, and it will just boost the overall value of your, your drums. I personally don't do that, and I find that it's better like when it comes to like really honing in on certain sounds. I just put it on individual tracks. Cause it's like Sometimes it'll make it sound muddy. I'm just gonna play the beat real quick and you'll can see the difference of putting Smack Attack on all the drums or just uh, some of the drums. It's, you know, it's, it's a personal decision, but let's go ahead and listen to the beat real quick and then we're gonna jump into adding Smack Attack. Bet. so that's 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 the vibe of the drum of the of the, of the track right there um basically i actually to 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 really get your drums to hit harder i just find myself turning knobs up and for some reason with logic you know it does like, like the metering is a little off on it but it's not like distorting if you can listen to the beat or whatever it, it doesn't sound like it's really distorting or not but let's just say if I was just going to bring these back down to like nominal gain, stuff like that. Um, if I was to put this smack attack on the drums right here, turn it on. What I would do here is I would turn the attack over to the right and then sustain over like this. And then you also have presets that you can use. So you can go over here to drums and use any of these little presets. But this is what it's gonna sound like if you just put it on the full drums uh, or the the, the um, auxiliary track right here or the bus. And it sounds dope. This is what it without. So it definitely did make the uh, track smack. But let's just see what it sounds like if I just, you know, fine tune it on each individual track that I want to, 
you know, basically make smack. So let's do it on the kick first. Put it on this uh, snare. And see, the reason why I like put it on individual ones instead of just throwing it on the um, like a busting or grouping all the tracks together and just throwing it on that auxiliary track. It's because sometimes in some scenarios you might not want it on all of the drums. Like for instance, I feel like the hats are sitting nice within the mix overall, in my personal opinion. And same thing with this little um, sound right here that I'm calling a tink. And so um, the ultimate answer is with this question is basically it's based on what you want to do to your beat. Like if you want all the drums to smack, like we have here, if you feel like that sounds better, You can do it on that, do it on that one. But I, I recommend just putting on just the ones that you want to affect. And the reason why too is because you can actually like make each individual instrument sound different based on how much attack and sustain you you put on it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's basically what we got going on for today's video, man. Um, as far as actually using this smack attack, I'm going to you know, go a little bit further on that. Um, again, like I said, you can do some presets here. So you can come over here, load it up, and go over here to drums, and they have some dope presets you can use. So like this kick to the sun is pretty dope for like kicks. And as you can see, it um, turns the output up just a little bit, and then it turns the sustain down and the attack over here to this uh, right side. So let's listen to it. A little punchy right there. And then also I had this kick to trigger. And then this is like turning it all the way over here. Turn it all the way up in the sustain right here. You can also put it on your like your hi hats. It has like presets for that too. Which I think are pretty dope. Yeah. Hi-hat sharpener. So it's like say if you want the hi-hat to sound a little bit more thin or whatever or sharp. And see, even with this mix right here, you know, like I might not even need to put smack attack on the drum, on the kick and the snare. You know, maybe it's just the hi hat that just needed to, you know, get sharpened up. So it's all, it's based all on the beat that you're, you know, putting the smack attack on and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but uh, initially, essentially, what we got going on here is when you put that smack attack on here, as you can see, based on the presets, you're gonna want to turn that attack over here to the right some. Play around with that. Turn this over just a little bit. Play around with that. And you can play around a little bit with the output. Don't go over three on this. Uh, too much over three on the output. But for the most part, that's it. You just put it on there. You can mess around with the knobs, the attack on it. Mess around with the sustain and the output until you really get it to smack the way you wanted it to, wanted to smack. But that's the that's today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, we're out.